Welcome to Board Insiders, your snowboard resource. Hey, this is Shay and I'm here at Stevens Pass and I've got the GNU Billy Goat, which is a men's hard charging board. It's for Temple Cummings and uh, he just does the main slalom and kills on it. So this is really hard charging board. It's a great all mountain board. It's got a medium flex, progressive side cut, and with the magnet traction, it holds its edge really well. It also has the C2 uh, double camber, and so at high speeds, it was really stable. Um, even though it was a little softer, I felt like I could pop off the jumps really well, and it was stable again at high speeds and off all the landings. Took it in the powder and it was fantastic. Rode really well. This is a great board to have. Uh, for free riding, I loved it. Uh, you know, once I kind of got used to what it, what the uh, shape of the board was like, I was able to make awesome turns. I rode this board just about everywhere. Um, I dropped some cliffs. I got stuck in some gnarly ice chute. Uh, hit pillows, pow, everything. Did some jumps. It was fun. By far one of my most favorite boards, um, absolutely playful um, in all kinds of ways, big enough that handled well on steeper terrain, pow, all the things I love the most. Um, little complaints about the stiffness, um, I can see where it could cause little problems here and there, but in my opinion it, it was just playful, just like I like. I mean, snow, snowboarding's playing and playing's what I did and this provided the most of that. I would recommend this board to someone who likes to go out and get pow, rip big lines and turns. It's a tad on the soft side for when you're really charging it. Um, the tail feels a little soft compared to the old ones. Flex, the nose is a bit stiffer than the tail, like I could still tail press on it, but it was a little too stiff to do any kind of nose press and it's not meant for that at all. It's definitely not a park board. More all mountain as your playground and really just charging down Baker steep runs. Uh, so I'd recommend someone who, who just wants to go fast. Wants to rip rip through the mountain, hit the groomers. It, you can take it into chundry stuff. Um, in powders, it's alright. Um, someone who wants some pop out of the board and wants to hit some jumps every once in a while. Probably someone who wants to hit more natural type jumps. I would not recommend this board to a beginner or intermediate rider. Um, it's just, you kind of have to ride it. it. It definitely, it's very agile, turns quick, handles well, but it's bigger, it's a pow stick, it's narrow, um, it turns really fast, and it's definitely not for a beginner. As far as the mustache rocker, uh, I actually prefer it more to the, uh, to the banana that they've had. Uh, I think it makes the most, it makes more sense to me. Um, on the bananas that I have ridden, it washes out a little bit easier, which, you know, could be a lot of rider error being in the back seat too much, but by providing a little extra camber there, it's giving you a little more flex, a little more time to, uh, to be in the back seat and, you know, regain balance. The C2 rocker made it a lot more stable free riding. I didn't encounter any chatter through anything, actually. It was really just stable ride. Um, and it made it more free ride. It wasn't, banana is pretty, you can do freestyle with it, but the C2 rocker, you could actually free ride with it and held an edge really well through anything. I, I could not believe how how in control I was. I pointed it down one, one little section and the thing didn't wobble whatsoever. I was just going straight and it was really in control at high speeds. I was super stoked on that. On the steep parts, it was pretty icy and the magma traction held its edge really well. Tread, tread. I gave it uh, an 85. That could possibly be because I'm not a free rider. I'd have to give it a shred tread rating of 91. Shred cred, I gave it a 95. Shred cred, I gave it a 95. Shred cred, I gave this a 90. And I basically dropped it back just because it was on too soft for the kind of board it is. Very fun board overall, and I would highly recommend it to uh, someone that wants to kill the pal. And Billy goat around in the trees, like the name says. Good board. Board Insiders.